Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about something that I recently got my hands on and that is Yabe Web Fonts. It is one of the most unassuming piece of software I have used and that is because it is not even popular. But it delivers an excellent result when it comes to adding Google Fonts to your website. It enables you to host the fonts locally and it has a lot of features. I played around with this plugin for just a few minutes and it has officially become my go-to plugin for locally hosted fonts or for adding fonts to my website. Now, enough of the talking. Let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about. So Yabby Web Fonts uh, has a lot of impressive features. It's user-friendly. Uh, Google Fonts GDPR. That means you can add Google Fonts to your website without worrying about GDPR compliance. It has great performance. The workflow is simple. It supports variable fonts and it works with almost any page builder. It also works with Gutenberg and then it supports the Adobe fonts. Now let's go to the back end of WordPress and check out how this works. Right now I'm at the back end of uh, a WordPress installation. The plugin is currently deactivated. Now what I want to show you is this. Once you activate this plugin, it's going to automatically, depending on the page builder you're using, for example, right here there's a Bricks installation. So if I activate here, it's going to automatically disable Google fonts from loading on the website. So it, it kind of does what Bricks would do. Uh, where you go into the settings and then you go into performance and then you disable Google font you see uh, so once you enable that it's going to do this automatically if you're using oxygen builder now oxygen builder also has the option to disable Google fonts if you don't want to use Google font directly from the Google server you really don't need to go into the oxygen or brick settings to do all of that or any other builder that is compatible with once you activate that plugin it's just going to do the work for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And then let's see how it works. I mentioned earlier, this is a Bricks installation. So if I go here, I'm going to find Yabe Web Font here. So I'm just going to select it. Now I also have an Oxygen installation where if I activate this, and if you go to Oxygen, you're going to see Yabe Web Font. So they basically have the same installation. Now here I've already uh, you know, added fonts to my website here. Uh, but here I don't have any, so we're going to work with this now. Adding Google Fonts to your website using this tool is so easy. Now I've used a couple of other tools and a lot of them would require me to go and download the font myself, you know, upload the font into my server before I can use them. Now this is really different. Now you could actually do that by adding fonts and then uploading your fonts. You can have bulk upload, but it's not just that. So let's go back. Now, you can also import Google Fonts. That means you really don't have to go download that Google Fonts from the Google server or any other place and then upload them. Now you can import. So I want to use maybe say Poppins. And then I can just choose Poppins. And now this is, is choosing this from Google and font display. I will choose block and then uh, CSS selectors. I don't want to add any selector preload files. And then I think these are basically, uh, now you could choose the format that you want. I'm going to choose Wolf 2 and, you know, 1. And now the question now is, do you want it to be a variable font? Now, I'm not going to set this to be a variable font. I'm just going to, I'm going to choose the weight font weight that I want. This is 400. Italic, I don't want the italicized. I'm not planning to use that. I'm going to cho choose 500. I'm going to choose 700. And then I'm going to choose maybe 800. Now I've chosen what I wanted. I'm going to click save. Now, before that, you could see that it has this CSS preview. It previews how it's going to include this font on your website. And then I'm going to click save. And what happens is that it's going to automatically download that font into my server. And that's it. So if I go to fonts, I have that font here. And this font is now loaded from my own server. So let me click that again. So I have all of this. Now over here, you can find all the information about the font. Now let's go over to settings. Uh, so um, of course, this is not a free plugin. It is a premium plugin, of course. So when you get this, you will have to put in your license key. And then uh, of course you have the option of regenerating CSS, uh, the catch loading method. And now another thing here is that it is gonna ask you if you should hide the font from media library. Now, if we go to the media library, and you're going to see all the font that Yabe Web Fonts downloaded. So it is right here in the media library. So it's showing up here. And, and this is just the same way it's going to show up if you upload the fonts, you know, 
through your media library so what happens is that you could actually hide it so if i do that and save changes and i'm going to refresh this you can see that we no longer see this one so it hides it they are there in your server but you don't see them i think i really like that feature so let's go back here now there is a documentation is here but i don't want to waste time going there now let's import another google font so i'm going to import maybe inters and i'm going to choose the font family it's going to be inters now in this case i want to um use all the other options that i did i think i want to set um variable font now i want to have variable fonts now what is a variable font now, a variable font is a single font that acts as many fonts it includes all the variation of the width, the weight, the slant, and all the other attributes that can be contained in a single highly efficient compressed font file. So that is what a variable font is. Let's demonstrate it here. Now, uh, it supports the WAF2 format. It doesn't support the one. So, uh, yep. So every other thing we can do that block. I prefer using block. You could use swap, which is the popular recommended method that I find block works better for me. So let's take a look at this. This is just one single, a single font. And then if I want, you see, see what happens? Variable font. So any weight that I want, it's just there in that one. So I don't have to have multiple font files, you know, uh, to, you know, to, to, ha to have the different weight that I want. So that is what a variable font is. So this is just a preview. It's not a setting. Okay. Uh, if you want to look at it at a great bigger, a larger size, so you can see how the variable font works. Okay. And then depending on the font, you know, if this font has uh, other attribute is going to be present in the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay. So let's check inside the builder. Now I want to check, uh, Okay, right now I'm in Oxygen Builder. I mean, it really doesn't matter which builder you are, right? Anyway, so I'm going to go to Global Styles Fonts and then um, my text fonts here. So you're going to see uh, those fonts shows up and they, they are properly labeled so you cannot miss them. So, uh, I mean, if you choose any of them, of course, that's the same font I was using before uh, for display font. If I choose this, it's going to change. Choose that, it's going to change. So this plugin is very, very easy to use. Like I mentioned earlier, the other ones I used, I had to go in and look for the fonts and then I will download them, upload them, you know, but this one just import into your server. That's all just import. And then you could add uh, regular fonts. You could upload any kind of fonts, add variants, you know, do a lot of stuff, upload fonts. These are manual uploads. Okay. If you have the option. Uh, it's like I said, it supports uh, Adobe fonts, so you could use Adobe fonts for it. Uh, you could check out the documentation and all. But what I like about this the most is the ease of use and the features. So if you want to get it, um, uh, let me check the pricing. So uh, it is down here. So it goes for $19 per year for personal use on limited personal website. Agency is $39 per year. Set on limited personal website. Use on a limited client website also. And then this is lifetime LTD for $79 and LTD agency for $159. Now, what's the difference between personal and agency? It's just different license type. This one says use on your personal site, don't use it on client side. I don't know the implication of using it on the client side, but it clearly says just use it on your site. And this is, I think this is affordable enough for a lifetime for, you know, unlimited uses on your personal and on a client website. So uh, you decide which one you want to go for. I'm going to put a link in the description. It's going to be an affiliate link. And if you use the affiliate link to buy this, you are going to be supporting the channel. But if you don't want to use the affiliate link, you could just go to webfond.yabe.land and then you can see this. But I'll appreciate it if you can use my affiliate link. All right. So that's all on the easiest way and the most effective way to host your Google fonts locally on your website. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.